Hey Bobbleheads, MyScrim here, and welcome back after like the longest hiatus in the history of hiatuses. Welcome back to Let's All Play. On this episode, as the guest, we got Boy Lag. Hi, how you doing? How's it going, boy underscore lag? Boy underscore lag. Just blame it on the lag. Just blame it on the boy. No, don't blame it on the boy. That's rude. You have to blame it on the lag. Well, then why is the boy there? Because I'm a boy and I'm proud of that. I mean, why why wouldn't I have it there? I mean, man lag sounds really weird. <laughs> well, I'll agree with you on that one. I, I don't know if if boy lag is that much less weird, but man lag just doesn't sound good. Yeah, that sounds a little dangerous. It doesn't have the right. It doesn't have the right ring to it. Oops! I just exactly. Pushed, just pushed all the wrong buttons. Oh, I'm wearing my Elytra still. I look like a douche. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, I, the, the one thing that I am really proud of is uh, astute, astute people might notice that we're on a public server right now. I used to do let's all play on, on a privately like peer to peer server that I ran on my own computer. Uh, but we're on the Rockville server right now, the place where I usually play Minecraft. Um, but all of the old let's all play stuff is here and, uh, yeah, you you can go ahead and get started. I think I might take a little tour uh, down memory lane, which you could come on if you want. But I you you oh. might not care because n none of this. Yeah, because that's the gaming nut. How much TNT is in there? Uh, only some. <laughs> if you it's from only like from like this level up on the inside of the nut cap, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's filled with TNT. But you know, it's inside. It's mostly not TNT. So, did you give me any flint and tinder, by the way? Um, uh, nope. Keep, oh, okay. Keeping that safely, uh, only in my possession. Oh, so you have some in, on you right now? Well, that's, I'm a, I'm in creative mode, so I have everything. <laughs> I have whatever I want. But yeah, uh, this is the uh, gaming nut made famous in the was it the first? It might have been the first. I think it was your first episode of Let's All Play when I made friends with Adam and Zach of the Gaming Nuts, who I'm still friends with, and have actually come to my real life house once. Oh wow, that's dangerous. Yeah, it was uh, it was stressful. They turned out to be, you know, about as crazy as it seemed like they are. I think this is called Dungeon Kitty, crafted by Aliens on Toast, also known as Connor. Uh, possibly, oh. possibly the only. Oh no, not the only Australian. I almost lied. I almost lied. One of the two Australians that we've had on the show, I believe. Maybe there are others. But yeah, that's actually a, a character from a cartoon. I'm not sure if he's released yet or if he's working on it. I know he released an animation of Dungeon Kitty dancing at some point. But uh, that was an but interesting build. Important. You can climb in its ass and it's got like yeah, organs and stuff in that. there. Yeah, That's uh, it's filled uh, with interesting. Filled with diamond block arches and a heart or whatever this is. I don't know how the diamond arches and the hearts would come. Oh my god, there's, but... there's a skeleton in here on top of the heart. <laughs> what are you doing, scumbag? What are you doing? Oh, he's going to like me. I'm not in creative mode. This is going to be interesting. Oh. Ow, that's my face. We'll see, we'll, <laughs> see how, we'll see how the boy lag does against the skeleton. I'm leaving out the ass. Screw All that. right, run out the ass quick. And that okay. brings us to the other Australian uh, person that was on the show. I believe he's Australian. PBG, not Peanut Butter Gamer, uh, but Phoenix Brothers Gaming, if I remember correctly. And this is a little under underground, sort of not secret, but kind of meant to be secret lair. I would never guess that there was something underneath there. Yeah, it's like a giant helipad, right? It's, yeah, it's, exactly. It's inconspicuous. Completely inconspicuous. It completely fits in with the motif of everything. <laughs> Over, over this way is possibly one of my favorite creations just because of what happened to it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if everyone remembers this, but I had, I had uh, DTH Joe on here, Defend the House Joe. I went this way, by the way. Sorry, I realized I just like bailed on you completely. <laughs> Look, like, see uh, you. Have fun finding me. <laughs> it's like, okay, this place is kind of big. Yeah, oh, but yeah. Uh, DTH Joe was on here. Uh, he's a cool dude. Who, who does content or something for the Defend the House channel. But he built this and it was it was a complete house made out of blue wool. But then we put lava around it and the lava like like burps up a little bit every once in a while and it totally ignited the wool house and partially destroyed it. And so it looks like this awesome, like it is naturally destroyed like catastrophe house. I believe there's a single rose in there. 
A red tulip. Oh, it's a tulip. Congratu- congratulations, your house burned down. You made it all yeah. the way into the, the death house surrounded by lava. Assuming you can't fly, it's actually it's actually a little bit of a dangerous uh, task to get in there. It's not really that dangerous. It's pretty close to the sides, but yeah, yeah. your reward is a tulip. Everyone, everyone will remember my completely not overcompensation tower. Uh, uh, I'm still going up, by it's, the way. It's, it's as beautiful. No, you want to see something cool? Come back down here, and uh, I'll show you. I'll show you what it's for. I'll show you the cool thing. You gotta cool. go. You gotta go inside and then go all the way up, and it's like a party. I mean, somehow you suck right past me. So yeah, go all the way up to the top. And get yourself lined up in the center, mm-hmm. and then uh, look straight down, and then fall. And there used to be a pit of lava at the bottom that really just made it perfect. Uh, but we're not allowed to have lava because lava burns things, uh, as we learned with the the blue house. But yeah, if you really just let yourself fall, it's it's fantastic. Ow. I think the lava would have cushioned my fall. Yeah, the lava that also burnt me, but the lava is uh, is the danger cushion. But yeah, that's yeah. what that's that's what that's for. It's my own personal house of enjoyment. And now this is a wrestling rink with like a stage entrance area over here, Some which is uh, WWE. Yeah, it's a it's the ropes are pretty thick. It's for like giants or something. Um, but I believe I made this with Jular. Was his name or was his handle? his name was dave um but yeah he was he was a cool dude oh gosh i remember this one this is this is supposed to be uh ruins of some sort that has a romantic hell dungeon underneath it and i was a what a romantic hell dungeon you know Um, haven't you been in a romantic hell dungeon i i guess i haven't been in that many relationships where i've needed one it looks like this it feels awesome tell you what should should i go in there and feel it probably not (laughs) (laughs) but i remember i was i was helping sarcastic quotation marks i was helping build this one and i accidentally got um uh instead of stone stone bricks which he mostly used i got the one that turned into silverfish monster egg stone bricks or whatever Ah, and i put in like like a hundred monster egg stone bricks in this place so if I break this, we'll just be attacked by a hundred silverfish. I flying. think I think we cleaned it out. I don't remember, but yeah, I that was that was my mistake, and <laughs> I felt kind of yeah, bad. The, the mistake. <laughs> um, and this was I built this with Maestro Oak, who's actually the guy who does all the music for my channel. If, you, oh. if you're interested in how all of these creations came to life, you should go back and watch because it was much more fun building them than it is to just sort of stand around in them. But he even let me have my own room with a big purple M and purpleness makes the whole world purple. It's fucking great. All of the world. And there's also uh, the poop spaceship, if I remember. This is uh, this is the poop spaceship, and if you go up to the front here, you can drive the poop spaceship with the enchantment table. I don't think a book is a proper steering wheel, but yeah, I mean, it is a poop spaceship. So. I mean, if it was a regular spaceship, maybe it'd have a regular terminal, but... A poop spaceship yeah. can be piloted by whatever controls poop wants to listen to. I, you have a point there. I right? can't argue that. Right? I, I, I absolutely can't. I mean, you're right. And there are two other creations. But they're kind of far away. Um, this house was made with. Oh gosh, he's a crazy dude. He makes music and he streams a lot. Oh no, I can't remember his name. It's so rude. I, it's. It was uh, really fun because there's a sex dungeon in this one, but it's not a it's not a romantic hell dungeon. It's just a sex dungeon. Oh, just a re- I've been in those. It's just a I've regular. I if I remember, it's flooded or something. Yeah, it looks like there's water down here. So it's it's not it's not just a rinky dinky sex dungeon. This is a this is a for reals sex dungeon, but it's pretty cool, right? Got got lots of art down here. Yeah, the art's nice, but I don't know about the sleeping accommodations. Well, the the bed is just really the spot that you want to stay. So it's kind of a it's kind of a trick. This it seems like it's a lot of space down here, but you don't really want to be waist deep in water. You would rather be in the dry bed, which is magically, yeah, exactly, magically so, dry. I don't think there are water beds in Minecraft. Uh, this is as close as you can get, I think. Also, you can't actually get into the bed, so it's it's sort of disappointing <laughs> in a lot of ways. I'm sure you wake up in the morning and just hit your head because, ouch. Yeah. That's a lot of water. But yeah, that's uh, that's just a regular type sex dungeon. You know, you know how it is. And uh, and there's one more place, which is the beach house that I built with On the Loose. 
or more accurately, that I watched on the loose build. But yeah, we built a uh, water slide, which is pretty fun. The water is a little messed up, so it kind of traps you as opposed to pushing you down the slide. But you know, it's it, it's fine. And once you climb over to this part, then then it's awesome, right? It's just the current. There we go. Yeah, it's Wee. tough. It's tough to get to get all the way to the water slide part, but it's it's like a workout and an enjoyment amusement ride enjoyment ride well, i don't I, I don't normally put workout with enjoyment rides but i guess i could learn to love it <laughs> and i think this entire thing is basically just one large bedroom for brandon if i remember he's he's, he's all about the sleeping arrangements D didn't you help him with the umbrella i may have uh done something to the umbrella hmm. oh maybe you didn't there's no tnt in there then this isn't a proper build if there's no TNT. I yeah, mean, there is I may have buried some TNT in the foundation of this one if I remember, but I'm not a ah. hundred. I'm not a hundred percent on that. <laughs> you don't even remember where your own TNT is. That is dangerous. And yeah, so that's that's the grand tour. I might cut that out completely, depending on uh, how I feel when I'm editing this. But that yeah. that brings us to your creation. Oh, well, this is a lot to live up to. And just going to be right big. next to all these conveniently placed chests. I wonder if they contain the materials that you need to build your creation. What do you mean? I'm in creative mode right now. Oh, yeah, right? absolutely. Absolutely. You're definitely in creative mode. The, uh, wow. That's. I was just that testing was a great it. great impact. And uh, I'm fine. I'm yeah, fine. It just exploded for no reason, but you're totally fine, right? Yeah. Full health right now. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad that didn't kill you. I'd have felt like a douche. <laughs> uh, all right, so so that was the grand tour. I'm sure you could care less about that, or maybe you don't care less, or do care more, or don't do. I let's just say I care. Maybe you could another? care less about that, which means that you care some amount, which we don't have to specify. If we don't want that, to. That's that's safer. I would go with that. That's a good. It's a good medium. Yeah, I, I would go there. That's that's the safest bet. I don't know if that looks like a chain. Looks pretty looks much like a chain. chain. It's got it, this. You might say this is the weakest link. Goodbye. But uh, well, I mean, oh well, this guy's kind of a weak link too. But it's certainly it's it's certainly a Minecraft yeah. chain. <laughs> yeah. As far as things good looking like things in Minecraft, that's uh, that's pretty good compared to some of the stuff. <laughs> it's a thing. We can go with that. This is a table. It's definitely a table, buddy. Whatever you say. Yes, it is, it is a table. That is exactly what I'm going for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, it's a very postmodern table you got there. Yeah. Um, so the whole thing about this show, I don't just jerk you around and uh, show up late to the recording session and then go to the bathroom for 30 minutes. Um, the whole point of you being here is that you have a YouTube channel. I do, and I actually post videos on there sometimes. I yeah, I saw that. What this the main thing that I look for when I'm when I'm going through the emails that people send about trying to get on Let's All Play is like, you post really regularly, which is tough to do. I yeah, I appreciate that uh, quite a bit. I mean, my entire life right now is YouTube. Like I, I don't, I'm not in school, and I don't have another job or anything, and it's still like every day you're gonna post a video. Like what the what wow, Jesus. It's yeah, it's hard, man. So I that is impressive. You really do post like almost every day, basically, right? Like you're pretty damn consistent about that. Yeah, I post every single day. The 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 thing is, though, I don't get the uh, the same amount of interaction with my audience that you do because you can post um, twice a day and not record for. I guess I record sometimes three hours every weekend at the very least. In order yeah. to get the content to post every single day. Yeah, yeah, it is so. being able, having the time to record like during the week and record extra stuff makes it, for me, makes it a lot easier because I, if I screw up and I don't have a video ready, I can just like, uh, you know, jump on the camera and do something. But yeah, you're uh, so yeah. what what sorts of videos? I mean, obviously I've checked out your channel, but what sorts of videos do you do? What's like your what's your angle? Mostly, well, I don't have an angle, as it were, but mostly. Just, What's your uh, scheme, man? My are, scheme, my scheme is to make all the monies. That's how are you trying to get rich at the expense of everyone in the audience right now? 
just like all YouTubers. And you know what? I'm not gonna, all YouTubers. I'm not going to try and help because I just realized you might not just be filling that in with stone bricks. And uh, I'll just watch. I'll watch and question you. Okay. <laughs> and question me. The questioning now. Now that I'm down for. <laughs> That's because I asked those hard hitting questions that like, everybody wants to know. Like that one, that one that I asked that one time. That one time. Uh, but, but yeah, I just do long let's plays. Is what I do. Do you have like a specific type of game, like horror game or something, or just like whatever looks good? It's whatever looks good. L lately, it's been all horror games. I've been going back and forth between uh, Fear, the Fear series, and the Condemned series recently. Mm. So I just mo mostly what I do is I just want to showcase games that I really like. So I've done like Ori and the Blind Forest, which was my favorite game of two years ago, and um, I've also done uh, the Thief trilogy which there was only three even though i did all four games <laughs> don't talk about the other one which one games. which one is the one that you don't talk about the 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 the, the four the the four the, the, however they the four the, four, the, the four. i think that's how they spelled it because they <laughs> wanted to be edgy i guess but, yeah is that different from the thief that was like a launch title for the xbox one or is that the same the same that that's the same the same series is that is that the one that you don't like to talk about? We, no, we don't talk about it. It's not just me. Oh, every, in general. Everyone has agreed. <laughs> Everybody's agreed. <laughs> and I, I'm sure I pissed somebody off, but that was eventual. <laughs> yeah, because I got that. I got that like with my Xbox One for free, and then uh, and I played. I played it for like half an hour, and then it was like uh, pass. Yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll pass. I'll save this one for later and not play it then either. Yeah, exactly. So later you have something that you can say that you're can, not doing because you're not. I can be sell doing this it. to GameStop for three dollars four years from now. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly what you were looking for in a game. It's <laughs> also a coaster. <laughs> the Fear series, though, that was an interesting series of games. I, I've honestly not really played those myself, but I watched a friend play the first one because uh, mm -hmm. he actually had a computer that could play it, uh, and I did not back back when it came out. And uh, the the idea that the the a the NPC characters had like adaptive combat AI and would like try and flank you, I remember that just being like, "Oh, that's so cool!" Yeah. Can you it, imagine? I can't imagine because I've actually played it, so I yeah. don't really have to imagine it. But and yeah, now obviously that's that's sort of common practice, especially in FPS games. But back then, man. Yeah, that was one of the games that, well, after The Matrix came out, we'll do slow-mo, it'll be cool, but they didn't stop there. <laughs> yeah. They also added the AI. So if you didn't use the slow-mo, you was screwed. Yeah, <laughs> and there were some some genuinely scary moments in that too. I, I remember the one, the one that sticks out to me is like the blood on the ceiling and the little girl appears and it's like, stand there looking at you. And I'm pretty sure I had a heart attack the first time that happened. Yeah, there was a um, scare that is really hard to miss when you go down a ladder. You turn around the ladder and there's Alma, the little girl you were talking about, mm -hmm. just standing right there. Somehow, with my superior gaming skills, I missed her. <laughs> and then the main bad guy, Fettel, was at the bottom. And I missed him during my <laughs> playthrough. <laughs> I have a tendency to break games. I guess that's my MO. That, 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 that's my scheme. I, I break the games. You just like to break stuff just by I playing just it somehow? Exactly. It's almost impressive. I guess that's a thing that can be said. <laughs> Don't, that's a good thing. I, I break stuff, but I, I that's more of a drunk Minecraft sort of tradition of trying to destroy all of the nice things that all the server it. owner tried to do for us. <laughs> it's just so, it's like I spent hours setting this oh, up. You Enjoy. <laughs> you set up this this mini game and you and you made all these plugins work with what we're trying to ask you to do and you changed all the shit around on your server that you try and run as a business and all of this stuff just for us. We broke it in 3 seconds. Fix it. Can you make it again? <laughs> yeah, make it better. God. Jeez, That's, it shouldn't uh, be able. We shouldn't be able to break it so easily. <laughs> We're drunk. You should why, know. <laughs> why didn't you thoroughly test this? Why didn't you hire some beta testers before you brought us in here? Yeah, I mean, he should know who he's dealing with. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a hate hate relationship at the end of the 
the end of that series. I don't think Zombie was glad that Drunk Minecraft was not going to be ruining his life anymore. But uh, so if you accomplish things, yeah, <laughs> you could you could say that. Those are words that you could say. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so you have your channel and you do. You play, you do it basically like I do it. You play the games that you want to play and you just hope that people enjoy watching that because you, those are good games anyway. But yeah, uh, right. why'd you start a YouTube channel? Oh, originally I started it just because I'm kind of a completionist and because of that I didn't finish very many games. I would kind of play them for too long and then never complete them. Mm. So I thought, hey, I'm gonna try this Let's Play thing that looks fun and it'll force me to finish games. And that wasn't my motivation for long after that because I just had so much fun recording. I did it nonstop. Any game that I can get a hold of that I wanted to make a series of, I did. So now I do it just for the fun of it. That's cool. That's that's a good way to do it because it uh, it really is fun if you do it like with the right motivation for the right reasons. Yeah. It's basically like a party. Um, with <laughs> not in your face though with an annoying amount of video editing tossed in there <laughs> but you know you get used to that yeah if, if it wasn't for the video editing then it would probably go a lot quicker yeah did, did I, you have a, do you have any like experience editing um, can you teach me any tricks or anything uh, or, or did you learn that like on the fly as you were figuring it out I learned it on the fly but um, yeah I, I bought Sony Vegas specifically to uh make my videos better because uh, using Windows Movie Maker wasn't cutting it for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I had that experience. I I mean, my my entree to YouTube is pretty obvious for most of the world, I think, is, is a fan of Markiplier at this point. And like, mm -hmm. I will, because I launched my channel like uh, a little over a year ago, something mm -hmm. like that. But like way before that, like three, four years ago, I was watching Mark start to like, become successful and do all his big charity streams and stuff and it was like man that looks like so much fun and I tried and I actually made a bunch of video well a bunch I made like five or six videos in Windows Movie Maker and I, I, I watched them once they were finished and I would just watch them start to finish and kind of be like yeah it's okay <laughs> but like yeah I don't I don't want to try and encourage people to watch something that I watch and I'm kind of like disappointed that I wasted my time watching it so it's it's tough man and it's and stuff like Vegas is like expensive too like well yeah it's just I didn't want to pay monthly that's the only reason why I got that yeah I wanted something permanent but yeah if you want something nostalgia from my channel which I'll probably redo it but keep the old videos up <laughs> is my Alan Wake series was my first series ever oh good game oh yeah and I did not do it justice at all <laughs> <laughs> my, my levels were too high. I kept. Oh man! Yeah, yeah. You had like that the classic uh, clipping into the mic so hard that it almost sounds like it's not not clipping. Exactly. Push all the way my, through. My first intro, which isn't, I don't even have, basically have an intro right now anyway. But my first intro was, "My name's Boy Lag, and this is my playthrough of Alan Wake." <laughs> It's like a little awkward. Hey, it, it's but. to the point. It gets the info out there. Yeah, but you could tell that I was basically stage fright, complete <laughs> stage fright. Well, you really don't seem to be having any stage fright today. I mean, unless you're like on a lot of Adderall or something and you're really just in a good, how, you know. How did you know? <laughs> um. well, was that was that hard to adjust for you to, to sort of, you know, performing kind of as as it is for the YouTube videos or how how is that not really it's just something that happened naturally over time i became more comfortable with the games and um it was easier for me to just kind of block out the fact that i was in front of people at first and then eventually after that just um accepting it because people do watch me, but they're not watching me live right then. So there's really no performance anxiety. So there's no reason to have performance anxiety. Mm -hmm. So after that, it was just, it's just me in the game right now. People watch it later. <laughs> Plus if it turns out really bad, you can just delete the raw files and pretend like it never happened. 
I I would never do that. I, I've never absolutely happened. never done that either. You're right. Who would do that? Yeah, that's just dishonest. Everything everything, everything, is, everything turns yeah. out great first try. That's how exactly. that's how it works. And the editing is minimal. I mean, it's, 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 there's never audio issues no, or anything. I've never spent six hours cutting and micro-adjusting audio that was so horribly out of sync. It's coming so along pretty want, well here. Is this like a uh, flying dance floor? A dance floor? No, I perform my magic here. Uh, I'm not going to specify what my magic is, but... Uh, this is this is the place where the boy lags. Uh, I don't lag off that much, but occasionally I lag up here. <laughs> whoa, 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 what's it? I was not talking about <laughs> lagging off. We didn't. This is a family <laughs> show. I. Uh, oh. It's clearly oh. not a family show, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have some issues that this is a family. This show. This is a family show. Don't forget, kids. Fuck your father. Whoa. I mean, um, uh, love, well, love your consensual. Love your mother, <laughs> sensually, or. Whoa. You know, whatever. Well, I was I was just gonna say I was I get a horrible feeling. Like the other day I was talking to a friend of Mandy's who um is into YouTube and she watches uh videos with her kids and stuff. And I think she said like, Yeah, we watch like Stampy Long Nose videos and I was like, Oh, I love Stampy. Uh, and Mandy was like, Oh yeah, Bob's a YouTuber and I was kinda like, I shut up. This is a person in real life, they don't wanna know that. Um, because I, I still find it embarrassing when someone who knows me in real life knows that I'm a YouTuber because then they go and watch my videos, right? And then they're just like, oh, he's they a psychopath. Judge. I got it. I understand. But, yeah, exactly. But so she it's, said that and this lady was like, oh, I we should watch some of your videos with my kid. He's he's like nine. How, with, are your videos good for nine-year-olds? And I was just like, please don't. No. Please. <laughs> no. None, none of my videos should be watched by a nine-year-old. Ever. They should be like NC-17 at best. Yeah, exactly. Depending on how awful that specific video is. It, how How is the content on your channel? Is it um, yours for the children's? It's not for... I mean, depending on how horrible I am that day, which is probably most of the time horrible. Uh, no, not for kids. <laughs> because I can't help myself. I, I, I does the cursing a lot. Not a lot, but enough. That it's not for the kids. Enough that if your mom watched, you would you would get a serious scowling at. Uh, well, she's watched. She's never scolded me, but then again, I don't think she even understands what I do. So, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's fair. That that is a that is a hard conversation to have. It's it seems to always come up with family. It's like you're you're with your your grandparents or your parents or your parents' friends or something, and it's like. Yeah, well, I just like as a hobby, like I, I do YouTube. Well, what does the, the that strange mean? thing is? Yeah, <laughs> you're you're absolutely right. My most of my family is like, okay, as long as you're having fun. But my dad is a gamer. He got me into gaming, so he actually understands it. Out of all the people, that's funny. Yeah. So yeah, my it's kind of. I think my dad kind of gets. I mean, I think my parents kind of get it at this point because I've. I, I've done it for enough years that I've explained it enough times, but it's still, I think it still freaks people out. Well, how is this a job? Yes. That's the thing. Uh, how is this? I understand that you post videos on the internet of yourself being an idiot. Why is that a job though? <laughs> and it sounds so easy. Oh, it is it easy. Is. I just, I just sit here and make dank memes or, or, um, other things, other internet jokes. Yeah. Just the oh. internet joke here and scream here. Scream. Yeah. And then the video's done. I mean, that's how that works. I don't <laughs> scream enough, huh? I didn't know scream yeah. was part of the fundamental equation. I think I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, you're doing it wrong. You need to scream more like a girl or a young boy or, you know, a boy leg. A grown man. Yes, like a boy leg. <laughs> don't watch my videos where I scream. <laughs> that's a lot of videos. So don't watch any of my videos. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, that, that seems counterproductive. I, <laughs> this, I don't this know where is, I'm going with this. This is getting intense. I feel like this is all culminating in some sort of thing in the middle that's like where the electricity from the four poles goes when you summon your something or something. This well, is, I have to do that. This is getting very uh, dark magic-y. I like it. Dark magic -y. Or maybe my imagination is just a, Be that, better that of a four-year-old and... It's something unrelated to what I was saying out loud. We'll Probably. find out. On the next episode.
Wait. <laughs> no, don't don't turn the video off, please. It's not it's not over. Please watch to the end. You're really gonna hurt my interactions if you don't watch all the way to the end. It's, it's so sad. Yeah, you need that red tube. That red tube. That YouTube red <laughs> yeah. money. Yeah, that red tube money. Uh, I mean, I've never done porn. I mean, I don't know what red tube is. What what is that? I've never heard of that. <laughs> Why would react that way after saying it? All right, I'm gonna save us for myself. Uh, for so you do YouTube because it's fun, and you do you do the games that you like. But what do you have like an end goal? I know that's that's a a very uh, amorphous thing to try and pin down. But like, what is your dream scenario for your YouTube channel? Well, my dream scenario would be able to actually. I mean, I'm not monetizing right now, but and I don't think I will in a very long time, but I want to be able to do um, two videos a day and be able to do more streaming and stuff like that so I can do stuff like, I guess, I guess everybody does it, charity li live streams and stuff like that. But I, I want to be able to interact with my audience more and I just don't have the time to do that. That's the thing that's hard about it. Mm. So I want more time in the day, basically, is what I want. <laughs> do you have any suggestions for this? Because I'm running out of ideas. My creative juices have gone out the window. Uh, I turned off my, there you go. I turned off my UI for a second there. Uh, you could probably like post these up and try and like Eiffel Tower it a little bit. Not- Eiffel Tower. Yeah, not the sex thing like just ta I, taller, I, Eiffel, huh? Eiffel Towel, Towel, Towler, Whoa. Towel. Eiffel Towley, Eiffel Towley. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see where you're going with this. Oh, now if you'd stand in the middle. Um, oh yeah, okay. No. <laughs> oh hey, <laughs> I found a flaw with your plan. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> One of these days, my skirm, I will catch you in my net. <laughs> uh. You know, this guy, this guy did tell me once when I was a kid, he had some free candy and I was like, I would love some free candy, but my parents are pretty, pretty insistent that that was a bad idea. So whatever. Yeah. Cause you on sugar. Mm. I, I'm, I'm a fun time on sugar, man. You don't, you don't, you don't, don't judge me. I'm not judging don't you. Judge, I'm just saying. Don't judge what I do. You do the sugars? That's dangerous. Man. I do the sugar. I do sugar like it's my jewel. Wow, this is gonna be ugly as shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna erase this as soon as I finish it because that looks awful. <laughs> it, it went from a magic tower to a radio <laughs> antenna. <laughs> Look, now it's a flag. Ooh, fancy. That's what still country? that's still not that's still not dark magic. That's the country of dark magic. Let's get in the let's get in the position of of receiving. I um. Are you prepared? Are you prepared I, to receive? I, I didn't receive it properly. Uh, oh it, god! It's falling. It's 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 dribbling down my. my well, neck. you're gonna have to go pick it up because I ain't fixing it. Ah, ah damn it! Sorry. It <laughs> oh, at least it landed on the platform. That's good. I'm in the way. Hang on. I can't, you can't place it inside yourself. There you go. <laughs> well, I mean, you can, but that'd be very uncomfortable. That's that's, that's horribly, horribly dirty. So, well, it's not what I, we do on this show. Well, that's how I took it. So, what do? That's a valid question, you know. It's <laughs> it's what? it's it's kind of nothing if you really kind of nothing. We're honest, just screwing around for the sort the of just just for the screws, man. All right, this is not this is a rectangular platform, huh? <laughs> Hang on, I got this. I got this. They they should line up. I mean, with the, I'm I'm not good with the maths, but there we go. That's uh, that's approximately how it should look. It's actually that's not awful. There's there's what what it should look like. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh wait, no. See, you gotta you gotta add in the spacers though. On oh, my, right. on my side, I've got two spacer blocks where I've got a double a double horizontal. Yeah, I could help I, you by breaking these things since I'm in creative mode. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like it'd be very helpful. I will. Uh, I will be your destructor, and okay. you. Um. Wait. I, what am I agreeing to here? I'm the destructor, and you agree to that—that that I'm the destructor. Okay. Wait a second. What did we do wrong here? I'm not Fixed good at it. maths. There we go. Yay! Good, so let's get the maths. And then. All you need is the 
the last little thing there. I, I don't really make it that much better. It's not awful, it's, but it's perfect. Wait, I know what this needs. Now we need to build another dark magic tower on top of the dark magic tower. We and completely mirror it. That sounds like <laughs> actually that would be that would there be we go. Pretty, that's better. I like that more. That would be pretty boss if it was if it was completely mirrored on itself and there was an inverted top part. Um, I'm yeah. not exactly sure if I have the skill to do that. Neither but. do I. <laughs> I. I'm just gonna go down here and sniff this glowstone. <laughs> <laughs> I want your glowstone powder? Why? I want your glowcane. That's what I asked for at the beginning, and you never provided, so... I, I told you I don't party like that, and I thought we were... I thought we had an understanding. But you still party with your face, so I, I was kind of confused, I thought. Well, it was just I needed to get to know you, and then we could party like that, so... I mean, I don't feel safe with, with complete strangers, yeah, so it, that's just... That's just what I <laughs> say to people. Especially when they have candy. So what what is this thing called? I, I don't know. This well, you made it. I, you have to name it, so. I have to name yeah, it. Yeah, you got to pick a name for it. Uh, uh, I used up all my creative juices. And you can't call it the thing. Glombo Optinometron, because I, I, that's my name for something. I've already got a plan for that. Okay, that I, we could go with that, maybe? No. No, no, uh, no. Not Glombo Optinometron. The, the thing is, I'm kind of frightened that there is no place for TNT in this build. Maybe oh, I... There perfect. might already be TNT in there. No, there's not. <laughs> Silently goes to look. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Uh... I don't have to put TNT into everything. What if, what if I told you that the hill that I subliminally got you to build it uh, attached to is actually a hill full of TNT. You know what would be more likely? This entire world is built on top of TNT. It's actually in one giant TNT block with mine, Minecraft blocks uh, spawned onto it. So <laughs> I can I can choose to detonate the entire universe uh, at any given moment. The whole universe, wow. That's yeah. impressive. That my, my magic tower does nothing on that. Well, um, so you have to give it a name, though. You can call it Magic Tower if you want. But it's not a tower. Magic Tower Platform. Wow. That's that's something I would come up with. You're correct. Um, <laughs> Boylag's Magic Tower of Power. The Power Tower? <laughs> sounds, like a, sounds like a roller coaster that needs to be replaced by a much more modern roller coaster. Well, if they're not dangerous, they're not fun. The Power like Tower. <laughs> Two and a half stories of pure fear. So this is Boylag's power tower. I'm proud of it. Yeah. yeah say it like it. say it like you mean it. I'm proud of it. I, I can't get the proud out. It's just Well it's pick, a thing. pick another pick another word. You don't have to be proud. You, you, what what uh, what uh, what is it how does it make you feel? This is a thing. Alright. I'm, I'm confident that this is a thing. Excellent. That is sufficient. <laughs> it is sufficient. That is perfectly adequate. Um, I think actually, unless unless you've got anything else you want to uh, ad hoc onto this motherfucker, I think this might be uh, a finished creation. Yeah, I mean it's not as elaborate as some of the ones here, but I'm not creative like other people. So. Well, but the other people don't have a boy power tower, so. Exactly. Yeah, that that's well, something that they'll never have. I can't take that away from habit. <laughs> well, I mean, you can take it away from me after you blow up the world, but that's just you, not them. So yeah, I I like having power, but I definitely um, won't tell you if I blow it up. Don't worry. Okay, so I'll just see it on like a stream or another Let's All Play that everything's gone. Yeah, maybe someday. Who knows? <laughs> No backups? <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything else um, that you had wanted to talk about? Yeah. I mean, if anybody wants to come see my videos, I'm at Boy Lag. Just search for it on YouTube. I mean, that's what I do. I do videos. There's nothing special about me at all. And that's uh, B-O-Y underscore L-A-G? 
Is that your YouTube? Well, name? if you just if you just type in boy lag, just oh. all one word, it'll it'll all come up. One word. I've done so many videos that YouTube knows me now. <laughs> you've been worked. You've been worked into the search spiders. They've exactly. You, they got. They, they found you. Web. Cool spiders. <laughs> cool. Well, that's gonna be it. This is a uh, little boy's power tower of power. Um, another another finished creation. That's what you decided to call it, right? Yeah, I think that was it. Uh, well, I guess it's official. <laughs> another finished creation. Uh, uh, the Let's All Play y Universe World uh, Epoch. That's that's not an area. That's a period of time. Sorry. Um, yeah. uh, another finished creation. Thanks so much for joining me uh, for Let's All Play Boy Lag. Like Thank he said, you. don't forget to check out uh, his YouTube channel. Uh, just search for Boy Lag on YouTube. B O Y L A G, all one word, and his stuff will come up. And uh, yeah, if you if you enjoyed any parts of this, uh, you probably enjoyed his parts more than my parts. That came out wrong. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, crazy. I appreciate it. if you check it out. Link is going to be in the description below, so you can click right to it. You don't have to search for anything. But that's going to yeah. be it, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you for everything. As always, this has been my skirm coming at you with boy lag, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>